My name is Isla Pridgen and I am studying a Bachelor of Arts in Communication. I chose communications because during a pandemic, communication became a really important part for our world. I'm also very good at presenting, so communication was just a perfect fit for me. Your Python looks like you've improved. My name is Daisy Lopez. My major is biomedical science and a minor in chemistry. It's what interested me. It had a lot of the med school requirements, and we have a lot of great professors here that I get to work with every day. My name is Linnea Balderson and I'm earning my bachelor's in business administration in accounting. I chose Texas A&M Corpus Christi because when I attended my first Island Day, I really got a gut feeling that this was the right place for me. It gave me the kind of intimate atmosphere in the classroom where I could really form relationships with my professors and my peers, but it also gave me that bigger community feel where I was part of something bigger. My name is Renita Newton and I have earned a doctorate degree in counselor education. I um, will be a doctor of philosophy. The field of counseling chose me. I would say that I enjoy listening to people's stories, um, really getting to learn about them, their lived experiences. I decided to attend Texas A&M University Corpus Christi because I wanted to come to a campus that would challenge me. I found just that the campus was very vibrant, uh, the people were very friendly. It was just a really pleasant experience. My name is Leona Petran and I am graduating with a bachelor's degree in history with a concentration in historical studies. When I went on a trip in 2014 with my school, we went to Italy and we got to tour many historical places. That's when I knew I wanted to pursue my career in history. I chose Texas A&M Corpus Christi because I loved how small the classes were, just because I wanted that more one-on-one -on -one interaction with my professors and the classmates. Can you check this? My name is Sarah Vasquez. Um, I am currently a graduate student in the Nursing Leadership and Nursing Systems program. I've known I wanted to be a nurse since I was probably about 10 years old. Fast forward and I'm a new nurse working during the pandemic and I realized that I wanted to be part of the administrative change to not only help the patients but to start helping the nurses out there too. I chose Texas A&M Corpus Christi because this is where I got my undergraduate for my bachelor's in nursing. I fell in love with the school, I fell in love with the culture, the environment, the professors were all very supportive and I'd heard such great things about the program that it wasn't, it wasn't a hard decision to make. <laughs> My name is Julie Romano, and I'm studying electrical engineering at Texas A&M Corpus Christi. I picked electrical engineering because I found the classes and the concepts really interesting. A&M Corpus is seen as a premier research institution. I was like, I would like to try and be a part of this um, here at the university. I've learned that I can handle so much more than I could think because college has a way of really testing you and showing you a side of yourself that you didn't know you had. I lost my father in the beginning of my second year. It was very difficult. What I learned about myself is that you know you can do anything that you set your mind to which is what my father always told me. He always told me that you know education is something that nobody could take away from you and to just be persistent in what you do. I can do anything. I can do hard things. The first year of my doctoral program, my father passed away. Before starting high school, my mother passed away. And so during my time here, it has really just shown me resiliency um, and that I can do anything. I can conquer adversity. I can overcome challenges. The most important thing that I've learned about myself is that I can do hard things through the university, I've really put myself into situations that I never really thought I would in terms of leadership and presentations, and it like really taught me that I can step up to a challenge. Starting at Texas A&M Corpus Christi as an undergrad, I've been able to grow and learn that I'm capable of a lot more than I thought I was. It helped push me into pursuing my master's degree in nursing, and we'll see where I end up after. One of the most important things I've learned about myself is that I can restart my life and it's going to be okay. <laughs> the idea of trying something new is just like really daunting and I think regardless of whatever happens in life, I have this moment to like say you can always restart, you can always try something else new and then go from there. I would describe my Islander impact as 
widespread. I have joined so many different organizations and networked with so many different individuals, from my classmates to the faculty here. I love not only TMCC, but the Corpus community, and I'm so grateful to have been a part of it. My Islander impact would be with Queen Beauty Club. I like helping the women feel empowered and encouraged and comfortable here at the university. I would say my Islander impact has been most visible here on campus, whether it's been through uh, my position as a counselor, leading different workshops, groups, going out and giving different presentations, um, just connecting with others on campus. I enjoy being involved in my community, my parish, and at the university. It makes me feel happy when I'm there to help others, and hopefully they feel the same. My Islander impact is most visible with my time with the Student Accounting Society where I really enjoyed creating connections with fellow peers in my major and forming relationships and mentorships with professionals within the community. Currently I work as a pediatric travel nurse which allows me to travel to different hospitals and states so I think I've been able to bring my Islander impact to not only different children's hospitals, to different states across the U.S. Um, I'm able to kind of show them everything I've learned from this school and kind of help teach them the Islander way. I'd like to think that my Islander impact comes from some small moments of mentorship on campus. Um, since I'm an older student, I've had many years of some wisdom from maybe some failures or some successes that I've shared with different students on campus. Overall, I just love seeing my friends succeed and I try and make an impact wherever I can. My mom is my biggest supporter. She has poured so much power and love into me and she was always there when I needed her and I'm just so grateful for her. I'm thankful for my mom and my grandparents and all my history professors and all my friends for supporting me throughout my education. I would say thank you to everybody that's been a part of my life on this journey. Of course, my professors, my family, my friends, and my pets. <laughs> my family, my friends, all of my wonderful professors, colleagues, um, everyone who has poured into me uh, to help me get to this stage today. Uh, I would just like to extend my, my biggest thanks and gratitude uh, to them. My mom has always encouraged me to do what was best for me and what really made me happy, which I'm very thankful for. I'm so thankful for my parents um, who have been so supportive of me on this journey. I don't think I could have gotten through this degree if not for them. So my family has been a huge role in my life and I, my parents have always instilled the importance of an education. My brothers and sisters have always been like the biggest motivators and inspiration for me. And my boyfriend has been like my biggest cheerleader, so I'd like to say thank you to them.